So now we have our sheet uploaded. Let's look at bringing in a 3D model. So on the top right hand corner, you can see the import 3D data button. Click on the button and let's go down to import 3D models. If you're unsure of the size of the model, you can click here and this is going to give you just a quick guide to let you know um, what type of performance you'd expect based on the size of the model that you're uploading. So I'm going to say upload from my computer. I'm going to take my NWD file of the level of the hospital and I'm going to say open. And if we look on the cloud activity button, you'll see that under the import tab, we're uploading the design model. Confirmation that it uploaded quickly. And you'll see it's now showing us processing. When the processing is done, we'll get confirmation for that too. And then we can start to align it on our floor plan. And here we can see that our import was successful and we have our confirmation. So now if we look over on the project tree, you can see there's a little icon here telling me this needs to be aligned to the model. So we have the floor plan, which you can see here. So to align that to the model, click the option. This is the sheet that we called our floor plan. Now we only have one floor plan available. If you have multiple, you have the option to select a different one. We can take the level. So this is pulling the levels in from the Revit model. So if we select level three, for example, we'll take level one because I think that's what our floor plan was. So we'll take level one and you'll see it has snapped it to level one. And if you know the elevation, if you're working with a different elevation, you can choose the elevation here and just enter that directly. If you need to clip the model to be able to see better, you can go ahead and just run a section through the model to see that you're aligned correctly. We can see the model and how it aligns against a sheet. So if you do need to use that option, you certainly can just to help with visibility. And then when you're ready, hit next. So now what we have to do is we have to find corresponding pairs in order to align this. So we're going to look at the top half of the screen. This is the top view of the model. So I'm going to find a corner somewhere in the model that I can correspond with the similar point on the sheet or the floor plan below which I believe is here. And then you can just use your mouse to scroll in and out, to zoom in and out, your right mouse button to pan around. And then I'm going to move down to the second window here. And I think this is the elevator. This is the elevator. So I'm going to choose the second point on the corner of this area here, which should be the corner of this here. Now you can have as many points as you like. Um, and then when you're ready, you can overlay them to see how it matches up. And if you find that it's a little bit off, you can either go back to split screen and adjust it. And if you want to adjust it a little bit, maybe um, you can just right click to remove the marker. And then you can move that somewhere else if you like, if there's somewhere that's a little bit more obvious. Let's choose the door frame here and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to right click to remove that marker and add the door frame here. Overlay them. We can see that the stairs line up, the walls line up. And when you're ready, just confirm the alignment. And now we can see that our model is now lined up with our floor plan. So to check that, you can always come back and look at the opacity. So I'm going to turn the opacity of the model down and we can see that that um, is aligned to the floor plan.